mentorship can provide additional support and additional perspective, enabling the individual to consider the different alternatives uh, and opportunities available. It's been very beneficial for me being on this mentoring scheme and having this mentor. It has um, allowed me to bounce ideas off a senior academic who's given me their time. When I talk to my mentee, um, I can bring my experience to that conversation and uh, often that helps the mentee to develop their ideas about how to move forward. There are sometimes big choices you have to make and you have to make them pretty much immediately. And sometimes it's helpful to have someone else tell you what they would have done considering the circumstances. The benefits that you can get out in terms of nurturing the next generation, it's fantastic. You're meeting people who are not part of your own institution and I think you can make a real difference. It's really useful to have an initial conversation and establish a rapport with your mentee. So I think there is different types of mentorship and it's useful to sort of discuss with your mentor at the time whether it's going to be more like responsive mode or more like let's catch up every um, direct amount of time. I think it's important to listen to the mentee and, and to help them in the best way you can, whether that's about science, career development, or if it is about more personal matters and relationships. So the main support I can provide as a mentor, I think, is being completely independent and being a sounding board for somebody. Sometimes you get into an echo chamber where all you can hear is your own point of view and why this approach is the best and nothing else will do. And sometimes you need someone to challenge that. At the beginning of the scheme, uh, before I, I met my mentor, I attended the mentoring masterclasses and they outlined the kind of things that you could expect from the mentoring scheme. There's more support. It's not just a one-to-one -one relationship that you build up with a mentee, but you get the support from the Academy of Medical Sciences uh, for, for, for both partners. Being from a different institution to my mentees means that I can have a confidential kind of helicopter perspective of their problems. Many of us female academics um, struggle with is with setting boundaries. Maybe we're a bit afraid that if we say no too many times, we may be put in some blacklist that possibly doesn't even exist. And I thought uh, through the mentorship program, I thought it was nice to be exposed to female professors that are very successful in their career and that they're able to tell you it's okay to set boundaries and look at me, it didn't count against me. I think it's helpful for women uh, navigating the difficulties of an academic career uh, to have uh, somebody to talk to who's kind of been through it, understands it and understands the different directions in which they will be invariably pulled. I feel that the demands of parenthood are greater on women. I don't think that necessarily I would have asked for a specific gender um, in other circumstances, but I do think in this particular case it has been helpful. So for me, mentoring is enjoyable and rewarding and I've loved every minute of it. So how I would describe my mentor relationship is it's been an excellent experience for me. I would say that having a mentor is really important. If I had to sum up my mentoring experience, I found it enjoyable and I found it rewarding seeing people who you've mentored come through the system out the other end and even if you've only played a you know very small role in helping them get to where they wanted to get to that's that's rewarding through your career you will naturally find that you have several sort of mentors whether you call them that or just friends mm -hmm.